Now let's move on. Uh, researchers have located the perfect solar system forged without the violent collisions that made our own a uh, hodgepodge of different sized planets. The system, 100 light years away, has six planets all about the same size. Uh, they've barely changed since their formation up to 12 billion years ago. And these undisturbed conditions make it ideal for learning how the worlds were formed and whether they host life. Uh, let's speak now to uh, Palav Ghosh. Hello, Palab. Tell us what's up. We can hear from Palab Ghosh. Here's his report. Our solar system had a violent beginning. Worlds crashed into each other as they formed, disturbing their orbits, and eventually leading to the planets of vastly different sizes that we know today. But if we travel through space a hundred light years, we find another solar system but one that was created in much calmer conditions, without so many violent collisions. The system has six planets, all of a similar size. Their orbits haven't been disturbed and so are in perfect harmony. It also has a bright star that makes it easier to study their atmospheres for signs of life. This system has such unique properties. The star is so bright that it's going to allow us to do so many studies from telescopes in the ground and in space about their atmospheres, how they form, how they evolve. And we have never had the chance of observing such a bright system with so many planets all in once uh, until now. Astronomers have discovered thousands of solar systems in the past 30 years, but none of them are so well suited to study how planets formed as a newly discovered one. I think it just makes me really excited. Every day we're finding new exciting systems that are going to allow us to learn more about these planets that are going to like test our models and our current understanding. So is this solar system the perfect solar system because it gives you the perfect laboratory to find out how planets are created. Exactly, so everything about this system is ideally suited for the information we need to find out. So we have the bright star, the planets are in a really interesting configuration, and because of that, we know that nothing too dramatic can have happened over the billions of years since they formed. This perfect solar system, published in the journal Nature, will help astronomers discover exactly what these faraway planets are made from, how they evolved, and critically, whether they may be home to life. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, Cambridge. Well, let's speak now to Amy Tucson, who you saw in that report, a PhD student who's the author of the paper about uh, a new solar system, joins us now from Cambridge. Lovely to see your enthusiasm there, Amy, in that report. It's clearly very exciting times, isn't it? Just explain to us how you discovered this. Yes, yeah, so this, this system was a really big international effort working with telescopes from NASA and ESA. So we discovered this system using what we call the transit method. So we're looking at these stars for the telltale signs of exoplanets, which cause small drops in the star's brightness. Yeah, so, so this Just, system... Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this system, what we, what we did was we used um, a NASA space telescope to observe the star. And what we saw was that the star occasionally got slightly dimmer. And that tells us that there's probably a planet there. And what we found in this case was that we had signals of six different planets. And it took some detective work, but after quite a lot of input, we figured out that there were six planets and we figured out that they span sort of different distances from the star. So we have some which are quite close to the star, about a nine day orbit, which is very hot. And we have some which are a bit further away on a 60 day orbit, which are a bit cooler. Well, when you say a bit cooler, I think that the coolest is about 600 degrees, isn't it? And in terms of what that means for potential life, what, what is that? Yeah, so exactly. When we say cool, this isn't, you know, solar system temperatures. This is still much hotter than that. But it's interesting that we're being able to push out to these cooler planets that are going to be more amenable to life. And the interesting thing with this system is we have six planets so far, but there's nothing to say that there might not be more planets further away from the star. And then these could be in the special region, which we call the habitable zone. And that would be where liquid water could potentially exist on the surface of these planets. Right. So you've done this is your PhD already, but this is pretty much going to take up the rest of your time forever, isn't it? 
<laughs> so yeah, so this was led by one of my collaborators in Chicago, and I've been contributing from one of the um, ESA telescope sides. But exactly, like this is a really exciting system to continue working on in the future. I know many of my collaborators are already doing additional studies, especially for example, this is going to be perfect for the James Webb Space Telescope. So the James Webb Space Telescope is able to look into the atmospheres of yeah. these planets which is incredible, like to think that we could figure out what is in the atmosphere of these planets hundreds of light years away. <laughs> it is, it's extraordinary. Well, thank you so much uh, for talking to us about it. It's lovely to hear from you. Thank you. That's uh, Amy Tucson, PhD student at Cambridge University. Thanks so much for your time.